Hi there, I'm back with three new must reads. I will tell you a little bit about this one. This one is called The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl and the authors are Shannon Hale and Dean Hale, all right? And this one, that's the front cover. This is the back cover. If you're interested, once you hear what it's about, you'll know what the book looks like or just ask me. All right, it says, who runs the world? Squirrels do, according to this book, okay? It says, 14-year-old Doreen Green moved from sunny California to the subur suburbs of New Jersey. She must start at a new school, make new friends, and continue to hide her tail. Yep, Doreen has the powers of a squirrel. After failing at several attempts to find her new BFF, Doreen feels lonely and trapped like a caged animal. The one day Doreen uses her extraordinary powers to stop a group of troublemakers from causing mischief in the neighborhood and her whole life changes. Everyone at school is talking about it. Doreen contemplates becoming a full-fledged superhero and thus Squirrel Girl is born. She saves cats from trees, keeps the sidewalks clean, and discourages vandalism. All is well until a real-life supervillain steps out of the shadows and declares Squirrel Girl his enemy. Can Doreen balance being a teenager and a superhero? Or will she go nuts? <laughs> All right, this is called, again, The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. And it's print, not many pictures, but it's a lovely read. And it's here for you to check out. All right, so the next one is called Short. This one is um, Holly Goldberg Sloan. It says, what matters is how big you are inside. Now, outside, all right? What is short about? This is the cover, first of all, before I tell you what it's about. And this will be the back, all right? I'm just reading off from the book so that you know exactly what the book is about. It says, size doesn't matter. Julia Marks has always been small. So when her mother makes her try out for the local theater production of The Wizard of Oz, it's no surprise that she is cast as a munchkin. Julia is hesitant at first, but she quickly gets caught up in the director's unwavering enthusiasm. Then she makes two unlikely new friends, Olive, one of the adults with dwarfism in the play and Mrs. Chang, a neighbor with some surprising hidden talents. And before long, Julia has a wonderful uh, realization. This is going to be her summer to shine, filled with humor, heart, and a terrific quirky cast of characters. This is a joyous story of self-discovery and the role models who forever change us. So you want to know what this is about and read more into it and find out more um, about Julia. And the book is called Short. It's here. Come and check it out. Read it. See what it's all about. All right. The next one that I have for you is The View from Saturday. The View from Saturday. That is the cover. Okay. And the author is E.L. Konigsberg. All right. And this one just says says their path to the state final started with the sixth grade championship. Mrs. Olinsky had expected victory for her team, was quick and informed and worked together perfectly. No one had expected them to uh, beat the other two sixth grades, but they did. Their victory was so profound that the sixth grade math teacher, Mrs. Sharkey, confided to the music teacher, uh, Mrs. Masolino, that for the first time in the history of Epiphany Middle School, there was a chance, just a possibility, mind you, that a sixth grade team might beat the seventh grade. All right, so a little bit more about the book here. It says, this is a tale about a team, a class, a school, a series, a series of contests, and set in the midst of this, Four jewel-like short stories, one for each of the team members. 
that ask questions and demonstrate surprising answers. So if you like competitions, this is the book for you. It's about a sixth grade class that wins uh, the, the academic bowl. It's they, they are part of the academic bowl team and they beat the seventh graders and I believe even the eighth graders, but I'm not gonna ruin it for you. It's here for you to check it out. Come uh, join us throughout the day and uh, see what this one is about. The view from Saturday. And these are the three books that I have for today. So hopefully I see you throughout the day and uh, come and check them out if you're interested. They're here for you, waiting for you. Don't forget your past. Thank you for listening and I will see you soon with the next video. Thank you guys. See you throughout the day. Bye-bye.